So, okay, so here's a neat trick you can do to measure the current draw from your battery when the car is in idle, when the car is sleeping. Place one prong of the multimeter on the negative terminal uh, cable and the black prong of the multimeter stick it on the negative terminal of the battery. Now in the multimeter we have selected the 200 milliamp, milliamp scale and watch what happens when I raise the connector from the battery. Right now it shows, yeah, nothing, but look what happens when I raise the connector. It instantly measures the current draw from the car's equipment to the battery. This is the current draw that is not, is not uh, replenished by the alternator. This is current that is actually is called leaking from the battery. If you have some kind of leakage in your electrical system, that's a neat way to measure it without actually disconnecting the terminals. And then you can place it again in position. And this way, in a few minutes, you have measured your current leakage from your battery when the car is sleeping. Now this has to be done after a couple of minutes from locking the car. It is important for the computer of the car, in any modern car actually, it's important for the computers to de-energize. After a couple of minutes, uh, after locking, uh, the computer is de-energized and it falls to a certain the current draw falls to a certain level in this case it fell to five and a half milliamps and in order to be more accurate you can select the next scale of 20 milliamps and you can do the same let's see how much exactly we have hmm. And on the milliamp scale, we have 5.6, 5.5, 5.5 to 6 milliamps for better accuracy. And if you can see here on the right, the negative terminal is not connected to the battery. But whatever leaves the battery or circulates in the system passes through the amp meter, through the multimeter putting it back and zero and that's how you measure your current leakage